Nicholas had always prized his private life above all else. Now his great hope was that his family should remain together and be allowed to go into exile within Russia or abroad. I think he felt that it would all come right in the end. I think you had to have a lot of faith to think that, but he did think that. And don't forget, his family, or his connections, his cousins, were so widespread. He knew them all very well, because they had spent time with him, he traveled a lot. Um, and there were many occasions when there were family occasions when he saw a lot of them. So I think they always felt that whatever happened, somebody would bail them out in the end, somebody would rescue them. I don't think they knew quite to what extent they were in danger. Immediately after the revolution, King George V had offered his cousin Nicky asylum in Britain. He had this aspiration that perhaps he could come to England and be a gentleman farmer, and as his cousin Willie, the Kaiser had said, well, Nicholas is only good for one thing, which is growing turnips and being country gen. That would have suited Nicholas to live in obscurity and just be a modest family man. But such modest ambitions were ultimately thwarted by his children's measles. If they had acted quickly, if both the British and the provisional government in Petrograd had acted quickly, they might have got the children and Alexander out north to an ice free port like Murmansk and under a white flag to Britain. But the tragedy was the children were far too sick to be moved. And that's really the ultimate what if? If the children hadn't been ill, might they have been able to get them out to safety? By the time the children recovered, cousin George had had second thoughts and withdrawn his offer of asylum. The family's future was now more uncertain than ever. If Nicholas and the children were coping with the dramatic reversal in their fortunes, then Alexandra was not. Under house arrest, she grew increasingly melancholic. After their attack of the measles, her daughter's hair had begun to fall out and they had all had to shave their heads, Alexei joining in to show solidarity. But when their mother was confronted with a photograph of her daughters proudly displaying their bald heads, she was horrified. She thought they looked like those condemned to death. <laughs> 